Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd do a little video today. Um, I'm just back. I got in at 1am this morning from Heathrow Airport and uh, I'm not very inspired, feeling very inspired to write. So I thought what I would do is actually walk you through some of the settings that people forget about on LinkedIn. And these settings have quite a big impact on your profile connection rate to work. So the first one we're going to look at is on your profile. So you may not be aware of this, but sometimes your visibility gets cocked up. So you can see my profile here, but if you go across to the right here to public profile and URL and click edit, there's a ton of settings down the bottom. Like is your profile publicly visible? In which case you're invisible if you have that turned off. So if you're wondering why people can't find you, that's why. The other one in here as well, which is important, is your public profile picture. So you'll see here at the top, why is my profile picture invisible? Now, this is a common one. People go to their LinkedIn profile and they can see their own profile picture, but that what they forget is they've actually turned their own profile picture off to the public. So you want to make your profile picture visible and set it to public. Some people have it set so that only their first degree can see their profile picture, which is weird because then anybody connected with them has no idea what they look like. It's a big red flag for a lot of people. So, you know, turn that basic on, make sure the basic's on, but make sure your profile picture is public. It freaks people out. So there's a simple one. Now, this one's a bit more complicated. If you go to me and settings and privacy, Inside settings and privacy, there is a section called visibility. And then there's a whole load of stuff here, like page visit visibility, right? So I'm just going to walk them through. If you're stalking people and you don't want them to see you doing it, use the profile viewing options and set it to private mode or public mode, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to put mine into public mode because I'm prospecting and I want people to see I'm doing things. Page visibility. This is a brand new one. Now, company page admins can actually see who visits their page if they have premium company page. Another story, another conversation. Message me about that one. But you can turn off so that page admins cannot see you looking at the page. So say you looked at a competitor's page, they might be able to see you looking at their page. You can turn that off. So allow organizations to see when you visit their LinkedIn page off. Oh. So that's another one. Who, are, can, who can see and download your email address? Uh, only visible to me, worthwhile, uh, making sure that's off. If Unless you want more marketing emails, make sure it's only visible to you. Right, this is the complicated one. Who can see your connections? Now, most people don't know what this means. They think that if they turn this off, you won't be able to see who your mutual connections are. It's not true. What this does, this setting stops people looking through your connections. So let's say I'm a LinkedIn trainer. I am, by the way. Um, and a competitor, another LinkedIn trainer connects with me. Because this setting's off, they cannot just click my blue connections on my profile and look through and go, oh, who's Dean dealing with? Who's Dean working with? And, and do all of that stuff. They can still see who's in common, but they can't see everybody. So by default, when you look at your profile, you see there you've got your 500 connections. By default, when you connect with somebody, they can see those connections too. But if you turn that off, all they see when they come to your profile is 500 plus connections and it's grayed out. So you want to turn that off too. So uh, page visibility, make your profile public. There you go. If you're prospecting private, if you're stalking. Page visibility, turn that off or on depending on what you're doing. But if you're looking at competitors, turn it off. Make sure who can download your email is off so that you don't get more marketing emails. Um, 
and then who can see your connections turn that off too these are all very 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 simple things but very important to do and then the other big housekeeping thing and again this is a tricky one go to my network and when you go to my network you got invitations you got 934 pending and you can click show all and in the show all section you've got received exactly what you saw before and sent and in here i've sent 227 connection requests keep this under control i send 100 connection requests a week you can send 100 requests a week if you're active on the platform and have a subscription it's less if you're free but you want to keep this under control so that you don't have lots and lots of pending requests there because it can actually mean that you get a higher rejection rate because if you leave people there naturally eventually some people are going to decline you so i always say to people withdraw uh, withdraw connection requests if they haven't accepted within two weeks withdraw them because you can always invite them again in the future so you can click withdraw and three weeks later you can send it again if somebody hasn't accepted you within two weeks there's either they they either didn't see it they weren't uh, they don't want to connect but i guarantee you it's buried now by a ton of other requests from other people so get on top of it my network and get into those there and withdraw them keep them under control keep it under 200 connection requests there